you thinking? And no. I ain't gonna have you climbing towers all over the county for me. So don't worry. Also, try not to fall from up there. Hello everybody, this is the Platinum Knight Games, and today I'm here to show you exactly what you get in Far Cry 5, the Gold Edition. Alright. Here's the front. Looks nice. Here's the back. Take back your town. Fight to free Hope County, Montana. Alright, I'm about to take it out. There we go. Looks pretty cool. Looks like the inside of a church. In the back. Awesome. Um, by the way, it is made out of real steel. There we go. Let's see what's inside. Here's a game. Here's the season pass. Obviously has a digital code, which I'm not going to show. lets you know everything you're getting. And here is all the free things that PlayStation players get. Ah, oh, nobody cares about this. Okay. Now I pre-ordered my copy at Best Buy and over there they give you these cardboard posters which they're pretty much the front covers of each DLC coming in the season pass so let's take a look here all right the first one is lost on mars Sweet. Looks like Blood Dragon. The next one is Hours of Darkness. Which I believe this is going to be the Vietnam DLC. Third one is Dead Living Zombies. Because you got to have your zombie mode. Looks pretty sick. Oh, that's it? Okay. Oh, wait a minute. This is not what you want to see. Nah, you don't want to see a cliche, boring unboxing video. You came here to see what's inside the game. Well, here you go. The first thing we're going to look at is the Day 1 exclusive MBP Sniper Rifle.
Next is the 44 Magnum and RC camos. The Ace Pilot Pack. Last but not least, the Big Game Hunter Pack. Originally, I wasn't going to show what you get when you pre-order until I decided, eh, screw it.
As for my thoughts on Far Cry 5, I like it. It's a pretty solid game. Hell of a lot better than Far Cry 4, that's for sure. I like how you no longer have to climb those stupid towers to uncover certain parts of the map. Um, I also find it very interesting how they took away the mini-map, and supposedly Ubisoft's excuse for removing that is to make you feel like you are naturally exploring the map. The graphics are gorgeous. Really, really smooth graphics. Although, I am fully aware that Ubisoft downgraded it compared to what they showed at E3, but that's something you got to expect from a Ubisoft game. I like how they improved on the customization features. You can custom your weapons, cars, planes, helicopters, boats, almost everything. You can catch fish in here. Um, to be honest, I kind of feel that Far Cry 5 feels a little bit small compared to the previous installments. But, where this game truly shines is its story, and even the side missions surprisingly creative, wanting you to complete each and every one of them to see what you get for rewards. Um, I also like the perk system, and with the perk system, you're supposed to collect these perk points, and the way you establish those is you solving these creative environmental puzzles. Each one usually contains three and gives you a lot of cash, making you feel pretty accomplished. There is another currency called Silver Bars, aka microtransactions, which was a huge controversy even before this game came out. Um, and who can blame them ever since the disaster Battlefront 2's controversy where the only way to get anywhere in that game is by spending real money. However, here in Far Cry 5, thankfully it is not so forced and in your face. You can easily find silver bars just by taking outposts. Usually you can find 40 of them in safes. So, I get it. At the end of the day, we all wish that these microtransactions weren't in our games to begin with, but at least in this case, it ain't so greedy. Not having to do hours of unnecessary grinding and just earning everything by playing the game itself. I enjoyed most of the companions that you get to use alongside you, like Boomer the dog, Cheeseburger the bear, or Peaches the mountain lion. Um, probably my favorite companions would be Cheeseburger and Herc, which is a reoccurring character from Far Cry 3 and 4. By the way, just to give you a heads up, for those of you who are planning on getting a platinum in this game, whatever you do, do not buy the brass knuckles. There is this trophy called Where's the Beef? You have to kill a bull with your bare hands. But if you have the brass knuckles on, you can't take them off. So, just giving you a fair warning. If you want to get the most enjoyment out of this game, I recommend you grab your buddy or a best friend and play the co-op. The co-op is so much more enjoyable and fun. As you can see, me and my friend just kept on screwing around. Uh, I know that Far Cry 4 also had a co-op, but right here, Far Cry 5 feels it was specifically made for co-op, and it is far superior than its predecessor. The arcade mode, aka the multiplayer, it's pretty fun too. You'll get a lot of hours out of it, especially if you're looking to become competitive. The servers are very good and reliable. 
Since this mode allows you to make your own maps, I played a lot of good ones and a lot of bad ones, but for the most part, I've had plenty of good times just blasting people all around. Now, I'm gonna let this match play out, but before I go, overall, Far Cry 5 is pretty damn awesome. Ubisoft has outdone themselves, and because of that, I give this game an 8 out of 10. Peace out, guys. Have a good one. Team is in the lead. Three. 